Hi guys, it's Amanda with Getting There Green and I want to do an update on my New Year's resolutions. There was a couple viewers who requested an update so here's my update for now. Um, my New Year's resolutions had to do with not eating processed foods and cutting back on meat. Not necessarily being 100% strict vegetarian but at least half the week if not more than half the week being meatless. Um, I thought that would work for me. It actually turned out to be a little a little difficult but it, changes always are difficult. Um, I found as long as I was at home it was easy to eat non-processed foods and easy to eat no meat but if I was out of the house either running errands or at friends houses it was very difficult not to eat processed foods and meat. Um, I tried if I was in a situation where I'd be expected to eat meat rather than saying no because I'm not becoming a strict vegetarian I would try to choose the leaner of the meats you know like poultry fish whatever um, if I chose meat at all Super Bowl that's that's a hard weekend to be no processed foods and no meat um, we had a soup we went to a Super Bowl party I brought a veggie platter with guacamole and guys it's a great idea if you're going to a party that you know there's going to be food that you're trying not to eat that's a great option people love guacamole um, we found the children at the party were scared of the guacamole because it's green <sighs> kids I don't know why they're afraid of green things um, anyway delicious for the most part the no processed food diet and fewer meats made for actually really tasty filling meals for the most part um, many of the meals were more delicious than excuse me, many of the meals were more delicious than um, your standard fallback meals um, so that's good I ate a lot of rice um, not a lot of rice trying to make sure I'm not just filling up with carbs when where I'd normally eat meat or something um, eating a lot of vegetables especially sweet potato broccoli string beans trying to force myself to eat asparagus because Randy likes it <laughs> I did find steaming asparagus with green beans made the green beans taste like a million times better it like added a little bit of the asparagus flavor to it but I still couldn't stand eating the asparagus although I force it a few down um, okay been a month and a half approximately since we started the New Year's resolution of course and I think I've lost about five pounds been slow going again losing weight is just part of the reason why I wanted to make these changes basically I just wanted an overall healthier me so losing five pounds that's great that's kind of a good target I think for a month and a half I'd like to keep losing at that rate about a pound or so a week that'd be nice but at the beginning of this early in January I went for some blood work and I did the blood work because I've been complaining for over a year that I'm tired all the time even though as you guys know like I have my own you know we grow a lot of our food so I obviously eat a lot of healthy foods I sleep very well like nobody sleeps better than I do more than eight hours a night I don't normally wake up during the night very good sleep so why am I fatigued all the time I end up drinking coffee which gives me more energy in a way but I still feel like I'm just drained um, yeah that's how my life's been for like the last year so I did the blood work and I've done some blood work before and I don't know nothing came up or something but blood work came back saying I am iron deficient and very very iron deficient so from what I've been reading about being iron deficient there's two kinds of iron there's kind of iron that's easy to absorb and a kind of iron that's more difficult for your body to absorb the easy to absorb is in meat <laughs> especially red meat the hard to absorb is in vegetables so that leaves me with the decision 
go back to eating quite a lot of meat, especially red meat, or figure out how to eat non-meat products that will give, in a way that will give me a lot of iron because I need more iron. Um, I am on supplements, but you know, I, I don't like that as a way of life, taking pills all the time. I don't know how long that's going to take to bring my iron up, but one tip for a vegetarian diet, trying to get iron, when you eat your iron rich vegetables, which are your dark green things like spinach and broccoli, eat it with calcium, or not calcium, no, not with calcium, eat it with vitamin C, calcium actually is the opposite effect. Vitamin C helps you absorb the iron. So you're eating a nice green salad, throw in some pieces of tangerine slices or something. I drink a lot of juice and eat a lot of oranges. So that's, I'm just going to keep in mind to do that while I'm eating the vegetables. So hopefully that works for me. But I know some of you are, know a lot about nutrients, nutrition, whatever. If you can give me some pointers or some encouragement. Um, this is something I definitely want to get under control because I don't want to be tired all the time, just wasting my life being tired. Um, I would appreciate your tips and encouragement in that manner. I hope this was a sufficient update for you guys. I am still want to do this, still trying. Yeah. You guys want to give me an update on your progress in 2012? I wouldn't mind seeing that. Check out our new website, www.gettingtheirgreen.com. We'll put the link for you. And check out our Facebook and our Twitter. We'll provide the links for those as well. <laughs> Catch you guys later. Bye.